Hey music fans, as a roadie I had this great opportunity to tour with all these bands. I wrote a book about my experiences on the road and it was the number one new release on Amazon and Bios and it's now sold millions of copies on Kindle. I'm Joel Roadie and this is my podcast, Party Like a Rockstar. Hey guys, so this is an episode here with my buddy Eddie Hedges. Eddie is a world-class drummer. He was a founding member of Blessed Union of Souls. He's toured with Sheila E., Belle Biv DeVoe, RuPaul, Johnny Gill, Shanice Wilson, just to name a few. If you're interested, he has his own studio. I know because I had the opportunity to record there once. It's a really nice spot, and you can get a hold of them to talk about whatever, you know, renting studio space and stuff. So if that's up your alley and be something you might be interested in talking to Eddie about, you can get a hold of them at eddiehedges.com and nativemusicla.com. This is my third reaction video with Eddie. The first one was a band called X Japan. It was really fun. It's a cool episode. You guys can check it out here if you're intrigued to do so. The second one was Tamu, who's the drummer of Nemophila, performing that same track. If you guys want to check that one out, here's that one. <laughs> Lastly, oh, about a year ago, I brought Eddie on to do an interview with one of the other guys, uh, uh, Charlie, from Blessed Union of Soul. Charlie actually also toured with Ozzy Osbourne. Talk about a different vibe. He was all over. Really fun interview. You guys can check that one out here if you want to do so. Anyhow, I do appreciate Eddie's time. I hope you guys enjoyed this as much as I did. I got to learn a little bit too, so let's give it a go. Okay, so uh, this band is called Nightwish. Have you heard of them before? No. Nope. Okay, so I'm a big fan. I think they're great. The song is called Ghost Love Score, and this is one of their mega hits. And okay. for what it's worth, <laughs> I think it's brilliant for real. I really do. So I've never seen this. I, I chose the drummer playing. So this is, uh, I think, going to be focused on him. And so, oh, yeah, drum cam. So I'll get to see this in a different light. And I'm interested to see what you think of, of this fella. So, uh, okay. Can let me know, man. So here oh, we go. Oh, you know, I will. <laughs> I know you will. I know. I know. All right, let's do it. Sorry, question the t -t 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 what what is that? Well, he's he's playing like these like, like, triple they one two three one two three one and it's like the thing is, um, but if you're counting in time like one two three like that is it, it, it kind of drops a beat. So if he's going da 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 he jumps back in. If I'm counting one, if I'm in time. He kind of jumps back into the group, jumps back into that thing a little too quick. Um, you know, I mean, because I'm, 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 I'm feeling what he's doing. You know, he's just going, you know, one, two, three, one, two, three, second. One, two, three, second. It's like, right? You know, but he's, he, so it's, 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 but I'm counting like trying to keep in time, but he, he's rushing into the next, the next piece. That could be intentional though. You know, I don't know. Me okay. not knowing the band, I never heard of, you know, and, and being like a producer, I'm like, wait a minute, We're, it, it, the groove is not locked. So okay. that's just that's just me, you know. Okay, no, let's see then, because we're only 30 seconds in. So uh, now I'm intrigued, so you can let me know. <laughs> okay. All right. <laughs>
right. Sorry to interrupt. So I'm. I have more questions for you. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. We're hearing the sound through his in ears, huh? Well, either that or no, because I would think that his in ears would have a vocal in it. I think we're just hearing the vocal off the front of the stage. Yeah, I think. I think. Yeah, we might just be hearing like my, the the drum mics or something. And I realized in the beginning. It was a different. It, it, it was a weird bar when he was playing. It was it was intentional. It was like one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. It was like one, two, three, one, two, three. It was it was like an eight or seven, four bar or something. I was I need to listen to it again, but because it was consistent, it was intentional, you know. So it wasn't the normal four four thing. He was probably playing a seven four bar in there somewhere. Got it. So you know, if you're playing, is this kind of what you hear in your in-ears other than you said there's usually a vocal? This is what you're hearing? Well, what I usually hear, because I also sing too, I have to hear the other singers as sure. well. I have like a, a mix, but even though I have in-ears, I also have wedges as well, you okay. know? So I can kind of, you know, and generally, like I said, generally the in-ears is so that I could hear like a click track or something that's going on, you know, so that I can make sure that... And the other guys don't have the click, just I do, so that we can, you know, I'll follow the click and they follow me. It's but, just interesting, you know, because from when I when I worked, I just hear mayhem loud. Everything is so sloppy, man. I don't, <laughs> behind the speakers, it's just a shit show. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, yeah, yeah. And this well, is like know. so clean. And so I'm wondering if this is what the musician dudes hear that every time, every show I worked. <laughs> yeah, no, no. That sounds to me just like the drum mics. It sounds like... Um, you know, and it also actually it, it sounds like the live mics behind them because the drums just sound like you're in the room. I mean, like, you know, like off the stage, the stage mics, you know, yeah. but you hear the singer in a distance. So that's so I and even me, I'm never meant to be a drummer because even though I'm listening to this and I'm appreciating it because it's a different angle. It's totally different than what I've ever seen. Yeah, I'm still listening to her because I I love the singer of this band, and in the comments they've been laughing at me because I'm like, oh, but it's true. I think she's I think she's amazing, amazing. So I'm still like trying to listen up for her. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. No, yeah. so it might. Yeah, I mean, I I don't know. I don't know. You know, different drummers have different preferences. You know, some some cats just they don't want to hear anything. But I would think being a drummer, you would at least need to have some uh, some of the bass. You know, some of the low end and, and some of the vocals, too. You would have to have, you know, your own little mix in there. But this sounds to me like stage mics by the drums, you know, because that's all you hear. Cool. All right. Let's keep going. Keep going. <laughs>
first of all, this guy is solid. Dude, right? this is I'm enjoying this so Dude, much. He's solid. But the thing that annoys me. Oh, what do you got? Is there's a delay on the snare every once in a while. I don't know who's doing it, but I know that it isn't the snare by itself because it isn't consistent. It's like, kakum, kakum, you know, and it doesn't do it all the time. Play it. I, 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 all right, oh, and right, by the way, right. by the way, they were playing it. it, it that was a weird, that was a, uh, I think it was a, some kind of a seven, four bar or one, two, three, four, one, two, three, then one, two, three, four. It could have been an eight something, but it wasn't, he wasn't making a mistake. That's because this dude is solid. Dude, I'm enjoying, it's like a flood of memories. You know, I forgot, like when I toured with STP, I would hang out behind the drum riser sometimes. And yeah. so I got to see Kretzel, Eric Kretz. Uh, play and, and so you just hear the drums because you're literally yeah. sitting right there yeah. and i have forgotten that time of my life and i told you you know i was trying to listen to the singer trying to listen to the singer and i actually was going to say it was intentional that i tried to focus on him but it was totally unintentional i don't think i'm that i don't think i'm that driven to be able to focus and i'm completely focused on him and i'm enjoying the experience from very out of my realm it's, it's yeah. cool this guy's really good it's neat to hear this stuff so for you i guess you're used to it i'm not this is cool yeah yeah no he's solid man he, he he's a really solid because it isn't one of those -da 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 forever you know yeah no there's yeah, a lot going on and it's neat to, yeah. to hear it do you do all the tricks with your with your hands or not necessarily not nah, i'll drop my sticks you know <laughs> you know some, sometimes but you know because eh, usually i'm singing i'm playing and singing you know and 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 of course, I don't want to take too much focus from the lead singer, you know. Oh, yeah. You got to be nice to that guy. Yeah. You know, they're, you know, lead singers are kind of strange. Yeah. yeah I'm poison. Ricky <laughs> Rocket, man. He's like, it was crazy. It was almost oh, like, yeah. a, it was like a circus <laughs> act, man. He does know, drop right? him, though. He does drop him. But he's really fast about getting a new one out of that bag. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Well, you use, we have shoots on the side. Dude, pull one off, pull one out and go, you know. Ah, okay. So check this out. I'll, go ahead and play. And I'll show you the okay, thing okay, that, let's do it. that annoys me. Okay. was like you know when you're watching fireworks and then they do the last part blah, 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 and everything goes all crazy at the end yeah that's what that that's what the last part was like but did you hear what i was talking about that -konk, ka -konk. i was yeah. like hit i'm, uh, I'm not really a musician i just like feel the groove so yeah, you know. i'm trying to lock it on to him and i'm hearing it -konk, ka -konk. i'm like what the heck but once again that's the sound whoever is doing the sound you know is uh hitting the delay on that part we can hate on sound guys i love that Oh, they, <laughs> <laughs> that's my favorite thing to do it's my pastime you know what i try not to because i gotta sing and play <laughs> you know so well i'm a ex lighting guy we have our rivalry man <laughs> yeah. well you know what sound guy i really have a whole lot to do the monitor guy is the guy i have to watch out you know he's he, first I gotta, guy to get fired on any tour i know right you know yeah, tough that's game, why in ears scare me <laughs> yeah yeah yeah. Well, but, I appreciate your time, and uh, you did enjoy that overall, though. 
Yeah, I did. I did. I mean, these I've never heard of any of these guys, you know. Yeah. Um, and the first two acts, the, you know, the the uh, the two b bands that they were really similar. X Japan yeah. and Nemothila. Yeah, yeah, and I get, but it was the same song though, I guess, right? It was. Yeah, I mean, so that that's you know, and I can only take so much of that. You know, but this was cool, man, because there were so many different parts going on, you know. Yeah. And he's solid. He kept it right in the groove. Even when I realized he wasn't making a mistake in the beginning, he was, it was like a eight, some weird bar, seven, four, or some weird thing going on. I didn't get a chance to count it, but kicking it. They sound that great. That was cool. Man. I liked great. it. Well, thanks for sharing it with me. That was neat. Yeah, man. That was cool. Thanks for introducing me to some new stuff, man. I dig it. Yeah. Now I'll be hunting for it, you know. There's a lot of good music out there and it's cool. A lot of it's just been these people here. They're just telling me, hey, check this out, check that out. And then you do it. And I'm kind of like, wow, who are these guys? Oh, yeah. I found this band by accident. I was trying to look up a song by another band and it ended up being that this was actually a band, not a song. Wow. <laughs> and uh, I like immediately fell in love. So I've been watching lots of it. And I, I'm now, still, now, like, what were they called it. again? What were they called again? Nightwish. Nightwish. Okay, now I got to go check it out so I can hear the singer. <laughs> uh, we could do one more track with the singer if you want. Yeah. We done. Well, I got to go. I got to go. I got I got to run. Next time. Next time. Next, Next time. time. But uh, right. I I definitely will be checking them out though. So, cool. Texas. They got some stuff coming out of Texas now. <laughs> no, these guys are from uh Europe. Oh, who was from Texas? Don't know. Uh, Oh, no, <laughs> no, these guys are uh, they're a mixture. I just found out. So the singer's Dutch, most of the band's Finnish, and I think the drummer was English. One of them is English. No, one of them's English, but they're from Finland, and, and the singer's Dutch. Uh, south side of Texas, right? <laughs> very far <laughs> south, very, very far. South. South. <laughs> yeah. All right, I'll see it. you soon, man. Cool. All right, thanks. Take care. <laughs> Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed the show. I now have a Twitter, Instagram, TikTok, Discord, and even a Patreon. The Patreon you can join for as little as one buck. The handle on all of them, it's of course, Joel Rohde. I'll see you guys on the next one.